Hello everyone, thank you very much for clicking and for watching the video. Um, so yeah, this is episode three of uh, my Game Rooms tour. Uh, if you haven't watched any of the episodes and you want to catch up, I'll do the usual. I'll stick a link somewhere. Feel free to go back and watch those if you want to. I mentioned in those videos that I didn't want to spend any time on the intros. Um, these things are long enough as it is, so I'm, I'm just cracking straight onto it this time. Straight on. So as you can probably tell, we're going to be looking at the PlayStation 2s. Um, PS2 was probably console I had in my teens, sort of going into late teens. So I, I still sort of reply, relied sorry, on my parents to buy a lot of the games for me on the PS2. But towards the end, I was able to get a few of my own. So I to get my own money. Um, so yeah, this as well is probably the collection where I've got the most fodder. That there is some right random titles in here. Um, but yeah, let's get cracking. They're all in alphabetical order as well, which I hope you appreciate. So let's take a look, shall we? So straight away, that one there. 50 Cent Bulletproof. Good game, that one. Really good game. Bit random. Really random, actually, but quite popular back in the day. We've got uh, Alone in the Dark. This is the one that was released on multiple systems. I think I had it on PS1 when I played it. Um, but yeah, it's it's on the PS2 here. Yeah, you can just see some right random ones. I mean, Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance. I'm sure a lot of you know this title played it quite a bit you get some random stickers on these as well secondhand playstation game not sure why they wanted to call that out wherever that used to live um bvc battle construction vehicles this is a weird one i've played this you you, you like diggers and forklifts attacking each other it's a really it's quite a weird but fun game at the same time so that that's a really random one uh, beyond good and evil one quite a few people played and black which i think is a greatly underestimated um first person shooter uh remember playing this back in the end of my secondary school days love black great game so let's just move our way through you can see some of these buffy the vampire slayer britney spear britney's dance beat that's a random one and then we hit the burnouts uh, I think it was Burnout, yeah, Burnout Revenge. This was the one I played quite a bit of. This was a good game. Really good game, that one. Most of these are from Car Boots, to be honest. Pretty much all of them are. We've got Canis Canum Edit, which is obviously Bully, which we've also got on the 360. We've got some of the first Call of Duties here. The Capcom Classics Collection. Got some good games on that. Captain Scarlet, if you're of a certain age, you remember this. It, it's similar to Thunderbirds. It was a bit more creepy, this one. Um, can't get it back in now. There we go. What else we got? You know, it's that my shelving's a bit odd on this one. What else? Let's just move. So we got the Crash Bandicoots. We've got Wrath of Cortex. That goes for a couple quid in CEX still. Twin Sanity. And then there's the two carts. Racers, Tag Team, and Nitro. And who remembers this? This is what I mean by fodder. Look at that. Crazy Frog Racer. Right next to the classic that is Crazy Taxi. I don't actually remember what my first PS2 game was. But I remember one of my... F oh yeah, it may have been Crazy Taxi. I remember that back in the early days, so I was amazed by the graphics of that. May have been Crazy Taxi, the first one. Uh, right, let's move on. Oh, Def Jam Vendetta. Fantastic game. It's like a, it's a, it's, it's based in a wrestling ring, but it's a beat em up with all the, there's some good rappers in it. And then if I remember right, there's a load of like random made up ones. Um, Destroy All Humans, The Devil May Cry. I've mentioned this before. I definitely did one and two. Uh, you got the Die Hard Vendetta. What else we got here? Don't want to pull all of these out, to be honest, and show you each one. Just want to move along. Oh, well, because I love it, I've got to show you. These all get a little call out, don't they? So we've got Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. We've got Budokai Tenkaichi. We've got Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2. And Dragon Ball Z Budokai. I am missing a few. I'm missing one or two of the more expensive ones as well. Um... But yeah, managed to get quite a few of them back. Got the EA Fight Nights. Energy Air Force. Not a clue. What's that? No idea. Got it from a charity shop at some point in time, it would look. It was a new release once upon a time. Moving on. Let's try to find some of uh, 
Try and find, I've got a big FIFA collection there, because I do keep all the FIFAs. I think I've got them pretty much all the FIFAs. Ah, right, let's start to call out some important ones. Right, these are quite tight again. So Fahrenheit. Love this game. I'm not sure who made it. Quant Quantic Dream? No idea. Atari there. It's a fantastic game. It's, just, it's one of it's a it's like a thriller sort of horror where you decide the story as you go. It, it's really good. I played it at university. Um yeah, some good memories of this one. Played it once or twice actually. Really good game. I think it's called something else uh, uh, in the US. Um, but it's Fahrenheit over here. It's a brilliant game. Let's try and find got some Formula Ones. Futurama. I don't think. I think one of these goes for some money. I think it's if it's got a purple background. This one doesn't. Um, but yeah, there's a copy of this that goes for quite a few quid. Good game though. Uh, right, what we got? Okay, right. Oh, here's a good one. Guitaru Man. So this goes for a couple quid. I've never actually played. I think it's like a Prepper the Rapper type of game. Um, this I got from a charity shop a couple years ago. I think I paid about 50 pence for it. Um, this goes for a couple quid now. I'll actually put up what that goes for because I think it does go for a couple. Um, but yeah, it's like a prep of the rapper. It's really hard. Really, really hard. And next to that is the classic God of War 2. God of War. Fantastic games. I played uh, God of War on my PS2 just uh, within the last year. Great game. Love it. Uh, if you haven't played it, make sure you do. So then we got the Grand Theft Autos. To me, Grand Theft Auto, when Grand Theft Auto 3 came out, this was massive. Like, everyone had to have this. My mum, I can't remember. She, she, I had to do something to earn this one. Something really, I can't remember what it was. I think I had to help her paint a room or something before she agreed to get me this. I mean, it's an 18 and... I was not 18 at the time, definitely not, but she was a good mum, she was a cool mum, so yeah, but there's all your, your Vice City, your Vice City stories, Guitar Hero, Gun, I always enjoyed, it, it's a bit like Red Dead, before Red Dead was a thing, uh, made by Neverstuff and Activision, so you know, some good good companies involved, um, yeah, really good, Wild West, um, really good game, I think it's on the 360 as well, but I definitely suggest having a go on that. So, this is one I picked up last year, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I, I got jammy with this because I went to CX and realised that they were asking like 40 odd quid for this game. I'm not sure why. I didn't have it at the time. And then I found it in a car boot about two, three weeks later. Um, people just walked past it as well. And, and to be honest, I probably would have if I hadn't seen it in CEX for the price it goes for. Um, I don't know what it's worth now. Again, I'll have a look. I might put it up. Um, but I only paid a couple pence for it again. Um, and that was mid mid. July, July time, 2022, something like that. Um, but yeah, that one goes for a couple pennies. I've not paid it, to be honest with you. Got a couple more, right, let's keep moving on. So we've got Hyper Street Fighter, the Jack Jack and Daxter, the James Bonds, to be honest, I was never a great fan of, to be honest. Uh, just cause, keep going down the line. Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 2. Kingdom Hearts 2, I thought, was a fake version of the one I had. But then I've seen a load of others. And I think it's because it's got this shiny cover. The side, if you can, I don't know if you can see it very clearly on camera, but it's like an off blue. It's odd. Um, what else we got? A couple Lego games. A couple, can you remember the Liverpool FC? They're yeah, Birmingham. I've only got the Liverpool one. So Birmingham, Man U, where they used to have like their own little... Club games, they were random. Anime Manager, yeah, you see, there's a lot of... They're at Lemony Schnickets, a series of unfortunate events. There's a there's a lot of fodder in here, to be honest with you, I will say. Moving on. Not sure. Ah, uh, so, if you're, again, this. Manhunt. This was a game that everyone wanted when I was growing up. It, it had a lot of controversy around it. There's a lot of videos going over the controversy of Manhunt. It was a bit violent when I played it. I remember just, I played it at the time it was coming out and I did think, oh, that's a bit much. You see like this, the plastic bags over the heads and things. It's, it's, I ain't played it for a few years. I'm going to bet if I played it now, I think what was all the fuss about. But at the time, yeah, me and my mate got hold of a copy and, and played it and we were a bit, oh, that's a, that's a bit much. Uh, but yeah, Manhunt is a game I'd say fondly thought of. Well, I suppose it is, but a bit notorious. The Max Paynes, great games. Medal of Honours, sort of 
fell off over the last couple of years. I don't think they really make them anymore, but they were a big thing back in the day. Right, this, so Metal Gear Solid 3, I didn't play this one, to be honest. I don't know why, I think it just sort of went past me what I, what I was doing in life at the time. But Metal Gear Solid 2, this was the one with Raiden. Um, I could play this two or three times, absolutely loved it. Fantastic game. Again, there's nothing I can say that hasn't already been said, but I'm sure a lot of people look at that front cover and remember that. Brilliant follow-up to uh, to Metal Gear. All right, what else have we got? Minority Report. I mean, what's that all about? Where did that come from? Monster House. Is that not a film? I want to say that was a film. It's got two quid written on it in hand. I don't know where I got it from. Wouldn't have been I didn't pay two quid for it because I wouldn't have. So we've got some Mortal Kombat here. We've got Deadly Alliance. And we've got Deception. I think I played Deception. Um, I played one of these, I can't remember to be honest with you, I sat down and played one of them a couple years ago. Um, not bad, not bad, the need for Sprite, uh, this bad boy. This game, this game was massive, again this this, uh, this came out around the time of the um, Too Fast Too Furious franchise without its peak and, and everyone loved it. I always used to kill the Peugeot 206 and then when I got older it was the first car I bought. Um, just because of this game, really, I, I have. I never, I never souped it up. Not, not when I had my first car. weren't really something you did. Um, you don't really soup up. You don't really see them very often now, do you? Really, uh, it's a shame. We used to, used to be all over the place. Not as much. Uh, what have we got then? Anything that stands out? So there's the Pro Evo section. Quite a few Pro Evos that's gone now. They might be worth some money in the future, but they certainly aren't now. Oh, Psychonauts. I got this from um, Cash Converse. Um, I want to say two years ago. They had this up for 20p. You've seen in my videos sometimes they do 20ps. I don't think... Uh, I think that was grossly mispriced, to be honest with you. But yeah, Psychonauts. Well, I've got some Ratchet and Clanks. Red oh, there it is. So there's Red Dead Revolver. That's the one that the Red Dead... Redemption series followed afterwards. I don't think this is canon now. I, th I think the story in this isn't isn't canon. Um, right, Resident Evil. I love Resident Evil. I've got Resident Evil 4. I've got Resident Evil 4 and everything, including my toaster. We've got Resident Evil Code Veronica X. I've got some of the more obscure ones as well. We've got Dead Aim. Outbreak. And Outbreak 2. Well, Outbreak File 2. Great game. Love, love Resi, but I, I want every. The copy I need to get hold of is Survivor 2. I went to, I ordered it once on the CEX Relay and I'd sent it back because it was just terrible condition. Um, and I never went back. I think it's, I think it was about 30 quid when I ordered it. I think it's up to about 40 now, so I need to get that sooner rather than later. Oh, okay. I said at the start, I wasn't able to really buy many of my own games at this time. Rune, I believe, was the first game. Um, May have been the first PS2 game I ever bought with my own dollar. Um, it's like Viking Battle of Asgard. Graphics not as good, but really good PS2 game. If you're collecting PS2 and you're playing on, I suggest you get your old. It's not expensive at all. Got some good memories with this one. Uh, yeah, Rune Viking Warlord. Fantastic game. Get your hands on that. Got some Tekkens. More Tekkens. The Getaway. So this is... This is like a lock stock. If you like lock stock, smoking barrel, snatch, that sort of thing, you'll love this game. Uh, quite popular again when it came out back in the day. And the same with Black Monday, which is a sequel. There we go, moving through. Got some King of Fighters. Got a Spyro. I mean, where is it? It was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, this was the one. The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. If you're of a certain age, you didn't go through childhood without playing this multiple times. Co-op, The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers is possibly the best co-op time I may have ever had um, on any game, on any console. It was, yeah, just fantastic. Everyone played it. Everyone played it. Everyone loved it. What else we got? Uh, Simpsons Hit and Run um, goes for a couple pennies. Uh, definitely pick this up if you find it. I think it's just GTA with The Simpsons. I've never played it, to be honest with you. I really should. Um, but this, I know this is very fondly thought of, and CEX sell it for a good few quid. Um, I have had this and traded this in so many times, 20-odd times. So I know you get a few for it. I'll, I'll put a little thing up as well of what you get for it, because you do get a bit. So keep an eye out for that one. 
couple sims. Ah, right. This, if there was one series, I think they should definitely bring back. I just fell off a cliff. It's The Suffering. This is a horror series. Um, Silent Hill styles. It, it, it's... You, you can turn into a beast and attack things that they've got. It's hard to, it, it's horror. It, it's a fantastic game. And then the ties that bind is the sequel. You can see you sort of transform into this thing here. Um, they're just really good horror games. Really, somewhere between Evil Within and Silent Hill, um, The Suffering. They, they should really bring this back. At least just finish it off with a, with a third. It, it, it's fantastic. Absolutely love it. The, the, Definitely get these. If you buy on PS2, I can't suggest heavily enough. This is another one you must, you must own and play these. Unless you don't like horror, in which case stay the hell away. Uh, talking about horror, got John Carpenter's The Thing. Never played it, to be honest with you. Right, what else we got? Moving on. Can't really. I've got the Tony Hawks, but I think the PS1 ones are the ones that I really fondly thought of. Moving on. What we got? You can see them all here. Okay. Oh, okay. So we're going to end this little section here. So Shadow of the Colossus. I think this version. There's something about this version. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's a different language. I don't know what. Oh, Spanish is it? There's a Spanish flag down there. I'm not going to pretend to speak Spanish, but fantastic game. They re-released it on the PS4. Um, didn't release it on the Xbox, unfortunately. Um, I'm not going to try to stick that back in. I'll do that later. But yeah, fantastic game, sure a lot of you know that. And then, right, so, let's pull these out, because these are always ones people like to see. And I've got a good story on these. Seem to get all the uh, Silent Hills pretty on a deal, basically. Apart from Silent Hill, The Room, which I know I bought from CX, may have, it does, shall we see? Do we see what we paid back in the day, or even then? It was £28 in 22nd of August 2021. So I'll put up what that goes for now. Um, but that one I bought from CEX with vouchers using the same system we do on the Build a Game uh, free game collection series that we're doing. These two, I got both of these at the same time from a charity shop, 50 pence each. This was one of those, had nothing in the front. Asked the lady who I got on very well with at the time. Um, I say at the time because she disappeared one day. And must have, you know, she used to she used to save games for me. And I used to go in and see her. And she'd pull them out and then she disappeared one day. And then every time I, every time since I've said, have you got anything out of the bag? They, they just say no. And they've said no while I'm sitting there looking at a massive pile of them. But, you know, they, they don't have to get them for you. So it's, it's, it's unfortunate. But yes, 50 pence each these were back... Um, Want to say it was before COVID, not long before, probably end of 2019, early 2020 maybe. But yeah, 50 pence each for my copy of Silent Hill 2 and 3. And I do believe, yeah, oh, we've even got a, a silica gel in there to to protect them. And I think people want to see it, don't they? People want to see it, so let's see it. I hope it's complete. I don't know, I think it is. Yeah, it's got a silica gel in there as well. There it is. There it is in all its glory. I don't... Oh, is it complete? I don't have a booklet. Someone tell me if there should be a booklet. I've got a little... I've got a sum in there. I've got some in there. There's nothing... Oh, okay. Well, if someone knows, tell me if it's supposed to have a, an actual manual in there. Because if it does, I might have to jump on the eBay and see if someone will uh, sell me a copy. Um, but yeah, so they're my Silent Hills. Right. You may know, oh, I'm gonna do, do, do. I got I'm gonna walk and slide down. We're nearly finished. Haven't got a great deal of PS2s. Oi, slidey, slidey. Oh, what we got down here? So we have a couple of Sonics. I don't know if any of those are particularly fond or thought after. Spider Man, Spider Man 2, that was a fantastic game. Amazing Spider-Man Web of Shadows edition. I don't know. I don't know if that one's worth a couple pennies. Actually, I'm not sure if it is at all. It might be a cheap one. I'll put a thing up for that one as well. I'm not sure. This is my only American version, and you can tell because it stands out because it's the only one that isn't 
The Americans put some artwork around the side as well, which I think is better, to be honest. When I look at other people's channels from America and see their PS2, they look a lot more appealing. Uh, what have we got? SSX. That's all that. Is there SSX tricky? Is there... Have I got it? Is it? Am I making that up? SSX on top? Oh, well, if there is an SSX tricky, I don't have it. And then we're moving on. Oh, I... Super Dragon Ball, because I showed you the others. There it is. Yeah. No, and then, of course, we hit the WWFs. Um, I can't remember. I think it was, is it Taste the Pain? Here comes the pain. I've got the uh, Platinum Edition. Nicer if I could get the other edition, but I don't think I will. Yeah, and there we go. So, I'll do it while I'm here, huh? Can just zoom out ever so gently this is my ps3 collection as you know the next episode we're going to go over my xbox 360 which is definitely my most complete collection because it's the one i focus i focus on collecting when i started doing this between i basically prefer xbox 360 because that's the console i played however ps3 there are some games that you just can't get on xbox but ps3 only is and um, so i try to get my hands on those basically and i hope i think if you take a look at this selection they're all PS3 only. Got things like Demon Souls, Last of Us, uh, God of War, the God of Wars, obviously Three and Ascension, uh, Little Big Planets, the Uncharted series, and uh, the Metal Gear, and the Ratchet Clan. But that that is all I've got for the PS3. If there's any, if I get hold of any PS3 exclusives, I keep them and add them. And um, but I I actively don't hunt down PS3. Obviously, I'll buy them same as any other doing the way we do things to flip them and. And keep them if I need them, but yeah, I always prefer the Xbox 360 to the PS3. And then something else I'm going to add on to this video because I think we've got a bit of time left is the PS4 collection. So, same again, I prefer Xbox One, but there are some things you just can't get on it. Uh, some, some of these games I've got which you can get on um, Xbox One, such as Sims 4 and Origins. Uh, the Incredibles, but I just got them on PS4 and I haven't come across them on Xbox One, so obviously I've kept them, but some fantastic titles here. The Last of Us Part 2, brilliant game, I'm sure a lot of you have already played that, and of course the remastered version. Uh, what else we got? The Last Guardian I found, a bit of a letdown to be honest, I didn't really enjoy it too much. That was from um, people that made Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, Detroit Become Human, haven't played that yet, picked that up recently, haven't played it. And then there's that Spider-Man I mentioned in one of our first videos, I already had a copy... Dying Light, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And do you know what? While I'm here, let's do Xbox One as well. Because I ain't got too many. Because I've got a Game Pass. And I play a lot of my games on Game Pass. And I've got a lot of digital downloads. Um, so I don't have a massive collection of Xbox One. But I do try to keep the ones that I like. Ones that ones that I just want a physical copy of. Um, yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2. I always say you don't need a copy of a game on multiple platforms unless it's red dead redemption 2 because it's amazing you need it on every platform you can um i play on xbox one still playing it play it often um yeah yeah love it dark souls 3 dark souls 3 cash converters i went in one day and the guy said he had a selection of games and he said we're updating the price if you see one game at a price which is lower the rest are that price as well i found a copy of dark souls 2 which had a 2.99 sticker on and I said, are all your Dark Souls 3, 2 99 He said, well, yeah, they will be. And I think I bought off him about, I think it was five or six copies of Dark Souls 3. For two, uh, I think they were two or three pound each. Um, yeah, kept this one, the game of the year edition. And um, just vlogged on the rest and made about 30, 40 quid, I think. It was, yeah, bonus. Um, but yeah, what else? Just WWE. Do you know what? The WWE, the newer ones, these 2K ones, um... I love beat em ups. I'm not massively into my wrestling anymore. I used to be. In fact, I'm not at all. I haven't watched it in years. I, I know who the big stars are from watching other forms of media, but I haven't watched it in years. But the games, I think, are really good beat em up games. You know, the character selection, the different different moves you can do, the different environments, the different level modes. They're great beat em ups. Um, and if you can just detach yourself from, you know, the, the theatre and some of the madness that is wrestling today. Um, they're fantastic games. I really do suggest that they're, they're a good laugh. They're really good, and of course, you can still be, you know, your Austins, your Flares, your Rocks, the Undertaker. They're always on there, 
Um, but yeah, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, the remakes, loved it, had that when it came out. Alien Isolation, uh, love Aliens, um, fantastic game. This game was one of the first Xbox One games I played, and it was when people, remember when they said you had to have the Kinect or it wouldn't work? So I had this um, set up with the Kinect on. While I was playing it, if you played it, you have to be quiet as, as the thing walk, as the alien walks past you. I sneezed in real life in my room. The alien heard it and, and came and got me from underneath the table. And I have never clapped myself so much. It, 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 still, it, was, it was great. It, it was great. But yeah, I forgot it was on. And I thought, oh, what the hell? But yeah, I got caught from sneezing um, in real life. So that was, uh, that was entertaining. Uh, the Evil Within, they have to make a number three. Have to make a number three. I love The Evil Within. You're probably cocking on to it now. I like me, I like me horror games. Um, I love Attack on Titan. This game's really good. You'd have to be a fanboy to enjoy it. If you are, definitely suggest playing it. It's great. But the second version is just the same game. So I've got that one. I'm not buying the second one unless I find it the car boot for pennies. Um, which is a shame. But yeah, Wings of Freedom, definitely have a go. Uh, XCOM, XCOM's one of my favourite series. XCOM is a good example of why the Game Pass works because I played XCOM, um, what's it called? Unknown. Um, never heard of it before. Got that on the pass, loved it. It's one of my favourite series now and I'd have never have gave that a chance if it weren't for the free free games on um, Game Pass. So yeah, definitely, if you haven't played XCOM before, it's like a turn-based, turn-based puzzle shooter. RPG, I'm sure it's got a proper name, but I can't think, but it's a fantastic series. Definitely get your hands on that. Especially the 360 version, if you've got 360, because it's pennies in CEX. Resident Evil 2 and 3, love them, love them. Um, one of them I did that challenge where you got to complete the game in three hours or something. I think it was Resident Evil 3, just fantastic. I, 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 I'd be upset with you if you haven't gave this a go i have got resident evil village as well but my mate borrowed it um so he best give me that back at some point yeah so i've mentioned before i've got the deadpool on xbox one need it on ps3 xenoverse dragon ball fighter z i was massive when that first came out oh little tip for you you say fifas aren't worth any money have a little look how much you can get for fifa 17 on the xbox 360 just have a little look and then keep an eye out for that don't tell everyone but yeah have a look at that one at the minute and yeah, there we go. and we've got a few collector bits there, but nothing major. Assassin's Creed Unity and The Witcher. So yeah, that's 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 the the well, it's not the new gen, is it now? Because we've got the uh, the PS5, etc. But they're the more up to date collection. So yeah, and that's it for part three. So I'm just going to do one more video where I'm pretty much just going to cover off my Xbox 360 because it's the bigger collection, and I've got just a couple of Wii's that I'll chuck in, and then. That's it, that's the full full game room tour and you, you're fully with me if you're going to follow along with the Build a Free Game Collection series. You know exactly why we're keeping what we are and, and reselling what we're not. Um, so I hope you join me for the last one. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourself.